Let's see. I changed the stream key. Uh, should work now. Just give me a second. Let me see if it actually starts on the main channel. Let's see. I changed the stream key. Yeah, there it is. Okay. All right. So seems like the stream key was wrong. Whatever. We're back. The 2017 CCG channel is going to be relaunched. We have more streamers now. You're going to see over the week we're going to have Marcelo on here. We're going to have Rafael doing streams. We're going to still have Eugen doing streams. And we're going to do some community streams as well. And uh, yeah, so for the day, we're going to do a little bit like learning by doing Zodiacs. Or I'm going to do that because I haven't touched cards since Bochum and Amsterdam because there was nothing to do and yeah so basically the last the last game I've played is what I played at Amsterdam with Prox and I haven't read any of this stuff or like a little bit so we're gonna do a lot of uh, learning the day a lot of mistakes in combos and a lot of chat telling me what I'm doing wrong it's gonna be fun so yeah if any of the settings aren't perfect yet like if the music is too loud too low whatever just tell me in chat I can adjust it and yeah oh there's no invoker yeah see that's like that's the first step put an invoker All right. <laughs> so what do we cut I have no idea what I'm gonna need so I'm just gonna cut this where's invoker, Come on, invoker. there we go all right Music's fine, alright. Okay, so we just need to wait for some people to get in here. We're gonna I'm gonna start with reading all the cards. Okay. So I know what this does. I know you you just summon it and put any of the XEs over it. And then you can detach it to summon a rat from the deck. Um also if you have any lists that are already like TCG legal and everything, like any, anything that you already tested, or any other version of Zodiac, I know there's a ton of versions of Zodiacs in the OCG. If you have any deck lists that you want to want me to try out, you can send them to me like on Facebook or uh, in private message on Twitch. Because like you can't put links in the Twitch chat, but you can send them to the Complexity Card Gaming uh, channel via uh, private message. So like any, I, I have no idea how good this deck list is. I just copied it from. Uh, I took it from Asia Championship, I think. I found it somewhere and I just took out some of the cards that aren't legal and replaced them with some other stuff that I just thought would be alright. So, like, I have no idea how good cards like Cosmic Cyclone and Chalice are. I, I just saw that they would be playing that, so, yeah. Um, you don't want to play Norden because it's going to be get banned anyways. I mean, it might. But I have no idea how good it is in Zodiac. It was probably pretty good, right? Since you're rank 4 toolbox. Yeah, maybe I should throw in some instant fusions. But yeah, yeah, let me just put in some instant fusions. But I, I just want to learn the basic combos anyways. Because literally I do not know what this deck does. So it doesn't really matter if the deck list is perfect or not for the day. Just want to try out some Zodiac stuff. And that's also why I took the pure version first. Like the pure Kaiju version. Just because I want to know how, how the guys work. Uh, I guess we're just gonna take out some of this stuff. Uh, uh, um, I guess we're gonna take out Totem Bird. I don't know you. Yeah, it's okay. No, Totem Bird's good. Let's keep Totem Bird. Uh, let's keep Totem Bird. Let's cut this instead. Um, should we just play or should I read the cards first? <laughs> I, guess, I guess we just play. I guess we just play. Uh, click. Oh my God, how does I, I've, I've not played this fucking Death Pro in so long. Hmm. Alright, first deck list being sent to me already. Um, 
Okay, that has it's, it's basically the same, but more traps and more zodiacs as well. Yeah, we can try that out as well. I can show you real quick. That's what I have. What he sent me. We can try that out later. I don't mind, and we don't get opponent. Fucking yeah. Bro. How does it? How, how, what's the fastest way? I could. I can just host, and you can play me. It's also fine. So I can host a game. Yeah, I'm just gonna host the game with Password CCG and you can join. Whoever joins first, I play against. Yeah, I'm hosting right now. You can you can join. Password CCG. <laughs> gonna need a little time because of the stream, the natural stream delay, but it's fine. Okay, there we go. Lucy, okay. So we're gonna probably time out a couple of times because I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah, we got the red, I think that's good. I also don't know against which card in this deck ghost ogre is good i guess you can xyz you can kill the first xyz and then they can put another one over it but i don't know okay so he's playing ddd which is also cool because that's also a new deck um no. ghost ogre is pretty good against it though so that's fine because um the contract doesn't search on activation it searches later so that's fine Oh yeah, drawing two rats is bad, I think. I don't know exactly how good or how bad it is. One for one, okay. That's not too bad because he already has the Kepler. He gets the tuner though, pretty good. Old CCG sleeves. Yeah, I don't have a picture with the new logo for sleeves yet. Need to tell. Yeah, for me that's fine. Ghost Ogre on spell. Yeah, that's it's pretty good on the spell, yeah, that's true. Yeah. So we're gonna kill this. It's pretty good. Yeah. Okay, that's the fusion. This deck is so cool. I don't. I. I. I from, I've played it before Lamia, and it was really cool. And I liked it a lot, but it just wasn't good enough. So we'll see. Unfortunately, I think now that it's got Lamia, I think the other stuff is just too strong. Like from what I've what I've seen and heard about Zodiacs, like. But it, it, it's definitely a cool deck. Maybe it's good enough. I don't know. This guy's pretty broken. And Lamia is huge, so he's gonna be making this guy which negates spells. Yeah. Okay, so... I guess we normal summon this before we activate any spells and just go for no for the I mean we can do <laughs> I have no idea what we're doing honestly like we normal summon okay we're just going we're just doing it I don't care oh effect mm. I know you can somehow attach from grave to your monster so we're just gonna do it I I've read one of the XYZs and I remember that but I don't know if that's if that's what you do. I do not know if you actually sent something with this. Oh, he has Maxi, okay. So I think we just go Drancia now, I'm pretty sure. However, we only have one XYZ material then. 
But it's fine, we have Barry. So... Um... You sent this, right? I don't play the trap, the list doesn't have to trap. Mm. If this costs, you can discard. If this piercing... Alright. Oh no, I know what we, can, what we can do. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. I'm not sure if that's good or not, but... We're going for Drans, yeah. Right? Like this. And then I guess we're gonna use the effect in the battle phase, just so he can't negate with Valor or something if he played that. No. Once per turn, you can detach the target one phase of card, destroy it, yeah. Yeah, we just go battle phase. Destroy this. He gets a thousand. And now we can activate Tanky and we can search the guy that you can attach from hand so we have his effect again. Right? Yes, I'd like to add, thank you. Yeah, Viper, that's the one, yeah. Uh, no, I don't have to do that yet. I know we said barrier. But no. Um. So what does this do? Special sums, right? I don't want to do that yet. Um, target one face of card destroy special sum. Yeah, I don't want to do it under maxi. I could attach this right now. Do I have to? No, right? What does he have? He can fuse, but I can barrier. Okay. Yeah. No. <sighs> Ignore chain. Oh no, I oh, normal chain. But... Yeah, not Hearthstone. Um, I think I call fusion. Oh, that was the standby effect anyways, right? Yeah, whatever. He takes the thousand, yeah, yeah. Oh gosh, don't ask me every time or I'm just gonna do it. Um, yeah. Now, we attach here. But not yet. I don't know if we pop this on the search. Um, we could. I mean, his follow up can't possibly that be that broken. Maybe he can. Uh, maybe he can. Yeah, we we'll just pop it for sure. That's okay. Because this card, even if we don't. Like, if we don't pop it now and we pop his play later, uh, this will be a problem next turn, so it's fine to pop it right now. Like, all he, he has Lamia, so you might be able to do like a Synchro, but that's fine. Okay, he passes. Okay. Draw Maxi. Next card that's gonna annoy me in Chain Links. Great. Oh. Uh, okay. So. I guess we normal the rat and just see if he has another maxi. Is there any any reason to not do that? Or I can put Tigris over Drancia. I don't know if I would like to keep this on the board. Unless I, do I win? Do I OTK? I have no idea if you can OTK with this deck because they're all so weak. Uh. So yeah, like I can. Save normal for Viper. Okay. So I start with this, right? Activate. No. I don't want to summon the rat from my deck, right? Because it's the last one. So what does Wild Bow do? No, Tigris, you said. Tigris, target. Ah, okay. Yeah, I see. I see. Yeah, I get it. 
Um, Tigers of Adrancia uh, attach rat. Okay, okay. Do I do it in attack? Is it gonna be strong? No, right? So. Uh, activate. Attach Drancia. Attach rat. I'm gonna ignore chain on this turn. Okay. So now I activate, right? And then I get rat. Okay, okay, I get it, I get it. This shit's broken, man. It's just broken. Oh, I could. Oh, no. Deck, right? Yeah. Deck. Then you overlay bullhorn over rat or tigress. Bullhorn is the searches one, right? Add one beast warrior type monster that can be normal summon sent from your deck to your hand. Okay, so do I overlay this over the, the Tigris or the Mulmorat? Oh, I'm, I'm gonna do it quick. Uh, I think we'll go over the rat. No Tigris? Okay. Try the same Tigris. I'm just. Oh, I probably should have been in defense. Okay. Activate, detach Tigris. Add a beast, search viper, right? Oh yeah, he had Valor, okay, so it was good what I did, okay. Um, but at this point, what can we still do? I mean, we could just normal summon Mormorat or special summon with this and get Emerald. I don't know how good that is. But we're winning this either way, so I just want to know what the best is. Like, oh, I'm running out of time again. Fuck this. Gotta go fast. Summon Viper. Summon Emerald, I think. Only uh, the effect is only under Beast Warrior, so it doesn't matter. But I think I want to reshuffle the rats and the Drancia because I'm using it now. I'm, I'm using the second Drancia right now, so I think this is good. I don't know. It's literally the first game ever that I played. No, great, another rat. Okay, um, but I can summon another Drancia here, which is gonna make it impossible for him to come back. I think so. Yeah, we were about to time out there, so <laughs> that's what I had to do, but. DDD on literally two cards in hand with the contract up. Uh, I don't have Viper though, I should have normaled this. I should have. Uh, like, if I had a Viper in hand, that'd be good. Because I could use this. I could use this and attach Viper again. That's, that's really good. But I, I can't. I can't. Or. And, oh yeah, I timed out. <laughs> Timed out, anyways. Okay. Okay, so he takes a thousand. I wonder if we let him fusion the first one. I don't know. Kepler. Kepler is fine. You should leave one rat in grave so you can tiger. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. I had one in hand, so shuffling back two was the right choice. Yeah, maybe. Fair enough. I don't know. What's that? We're out there with surges a level one, right? Yeah. Okay. So there's an acro slime. Which, okay. Uh, he wants to have this engrave. So I'm pretty sure I want to pop this. This fusion spell right now. Why couldn't I respond to this? Is it permanent? No, right? Why can't I? Oh, no idea. oh I have ignore chain. Oh, fuck this, bro. Fuck this, bro. 
<laughs> this is exactly why this is
Which decks do you think could be in the next meta? I think this deck is by far the strongest, even though. Oh, oh yes, this. I would just call Fusion. It's fine. Uh, I think this deck is super strong simply because it works off of one card. Like, what you get out of one card is just so good. Because, like, if you do the, the Wild Bow first, which I didn't do, but if you do it, you get a card that pops two cards. Like, one on your turn, one on your opponent's turn, for just one card, even under Maxi and everything. So that's really good. That's really good. I don't know what the best Zodiac version is, so if you have anything you want me to try out, just send it to me. see what he searched but I'm uh, just gonna do it whatever Boop. must be a DD trap but whatever oh yeah that one okay uh, what can I activate oh the Kaiju slumber all right yeah whatever uh, I don't know if I have enough stuff for the basic combo left, but we're just gonna do it. No, we're not gonna do that. Special summon, wild bow. That's why you run wild bow. I, I was reading them and I was like, why do you play it? It doesn't even have a good effect, but you just use it for our material. Uh, Tigris. Uh, do we have another rat in deck? Rat. I should have. Oh no, I don't. Okay. So I can only search. Yeah, that's fair. Oh, I can only attach. Okay. No, I'm confused. What does this do? Piercing. Okay. Horn. This one is this guy to search, so yeah. Yeah. Okay. I guess we should, yeah, we should emerald. Should ram, we should emerald back a rat so we can summon it. Yep. Any level four, right? Doesn't really matter. I guess. I guess we bring back Viper, and then we, and then we make Emerald detach Norden, shuffle in Norden and two rats. Mm, Norden, I should. I, I also need to recycle. Emerald and I, I like I wasted too many resources because I didn't know how the combos work. So rats and I guess the other emerald, whatever. Mm. Uh -huh. But now we can we can still summon it, right? Because. Okay, so we emerald twice this game and we drew rat twice with it, but that's fine. So now we can still summon bullhorn which searches and Drancia which pops cards. We need to search another viper is the question though. Kinda not kinda kinda could though. Why not? That's the question, yeah. Let's go for it. Oh, we don't have targets, that's fine. We wasted another one. Activate, detach this, pop that. Uh, yeah. Here. Yeah. Love. 
face. Tak. Funny thing is he can still win because he has the slimes in grave and I like I, I couldn't OT game because I didn't know how. Um well yeah, we can still pop a card. I don't know if it's gonna be enough. Uh, not much yet. Ooh. Well, like, it's still broken even though I don't know what I'm doing, so it probably means a lot. Probably means a lot. So what does the trap do that you send to Grave? Does it have a graveyard effect or do you get it back somehow? I don't know. Like, I know it recycles. Like uh, uh, someone said earlier, it's like part of average. That'd be really good if you could recycle all the XYZs. Uh, activating tiles. I'll do. Actually, do that. I kind of have to pop it, right? Uh, oh, I, yeah. He gets Kepler, but I don't think he has any more um, of the contracts left. Yeah, he used three contract with the gates, so that's okay. Mm, yeah, that's fine. I wonder if he plays another few. Oh, he plays that. Oh, that's. He needs to have the materials in hand for that, right? Hmm. Let me read it. You can fusion summon. Yeah, you need you need in hand for this. But if I pop it, oh. no, that's fine. No, that's fine. Jar of Avarice when you banish it, you just banish it from grave and shuffle five in and draw a card. That's broken. Yeah, I definitely should play that. That's super good. From hand, okay, so you did draw a DD monster. It's fine, I can't do anything else that. The thing is... Oh, Lamia, that's fine. Okay, so I'm not really afraid right here because like he, he can make he can summon the first Genghis and then just when he attempts to summon another TD I'm just gonna pop the Genghis so it won't trigger. That's fine. Mm, well emptiness is probably gonna be retarded this format. You don't even have to discuss it. Like any any format where emptiness is good, it's just stupid. Shouldn't exist. So here's the Necro Slime, yeah that's fine. He's going for Trish, right? Yeah. Uh, let me just check real quick what this graveyard is, but there's nothing in there. So if you just pop this, he won't be able to do anything. Oh, he can still fuse with this, right? Oh yeah. Hmm. So we let him Trish. Yeah, we let him Trish. Because if, if I if I like destroy this now, he fuses into Genghis and then brings back Lamia, which triggers Genghis. Bring yeah, I can't. Yeah, that's fine though. Now we chain. Here, um, do we pop the Trish? I think so, because he can't do anything this turn if we pop the Trish. And he takes 2,000 from this, so... Like, he's gonna take 2k from this. Oh no, he can return it with Lamia, that's fine. He doesn't take 2,000, but we, we still have it. Emptiness isn't even good in zoo format, but it's definitely not fair. 
Um, yeah, if people play removal, obviously the card overall isn't good, but that doesn't make it any better, right? Like, that's still weird. Just like, because emptiness doesn't involve any skill. Like, either it works or it doesn't, so... Oh, hey, Terra Top. Ignore Chain. I saw some lists not running Terra Top. Is that, like, it doesn't make sense to me, but whatever. Yeah, okay, we win. <laughs> like, five turns after we should have won, but that's okay. Okay, uh, let me let me see the, the trap, what it does. Accept the turn this card was sent to Grave Edge, you can banish this card. Yeah, it's broken, you, you, you definitely run that. 100%. There's no reason not to play this. Uh, what do we call? I don't know. Do you need triple tanky? He's pretty good, right? You should. Probably should. Is Chalice good? I have no idea. It is. Is it good in the mirror? It's good against Drancia, right? That's why. You run it. Um. Maxi on Terra Top is instant game in the mirror. Is that why you don't play it? Oh yeah, I guess, cause you, yeah, okay. Yeah. Chalice is good for drawing yeah, yeah. So I guess we're just gonna cut one of these, whatever. Um, yeah, Leo, I'm gonna be hosting. I'm gonna be hosting, you can join if you're quick enough. Oh no. Disconnected from server. Great. Okay. Uh, host. As always. Hurry up, Leo, if you want to join. No, not losing again. Come on. So Leo, the password is Leo, come in. Uh, why am I running Book of Moon? Because uh, it was in the list that I saw. Oh, you're on Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro? I don't have that, like, I don't have any deck lists on there. Alright, I guess we're just gonna do the other one again. Oh, am I? I'm fine, I'm fine. How about you? It's fine. Euler following, great, great. Book is great. I mean, I don't know, it seems good against Drans, yeah, well, yeah. I guess we're gonna play Lucian again, whatever. chain okay so like is maxi even that broken in the mirror if they're not having tarot top like just normal summon rat you maxi they just put drancia right it's still good though it's still good so because like what would happen it, it doesn't give you any card advantage but it's way better for you than what would happen otherwise so it's still pretty good yeah, now, now I use it. Yeah, the hand sucks. Doesn't have rat, but whatever. Yeah, just because they can't combo. Like, even if the card advantage you get is basically non-existent. Uh, it's pretty good. Uh, 
I guess this is not even a bad guy, because I mean I don't have rats, so it still lets me make Drancy, right? Like wild bow into Drancy. Or wild bow into the guy that searches, right? You need Gagaga Samurai? Yeah, it was in there. Well, whatever. Like, someone sent me the OTK. Is there a, like an OTK version with Slumber? Whatever. Is this scary? I don't have. There's nothing. Right, yeah, whatever. So I normal and he probably called XYZ on Barrier, right? And then I bury him back. Is that how it's gonna go? Should I attack first in case it's Strike? No, then I can still Kaiju it. No, that's fine. Uh, we start with Wild Bow, right? On this. Wait, what's the effect? Piercing, okay. So now, Bullhorn is gonna search us a rat for next turn, is that correct? And then Drancia. Pop something, attack, yeah. Right? Search rat. Do we need this? No, right? No. Just Drancia here. And I guess we'll... We'll just attack this and pop the tanky. It's just so you can't pop it with the spell. Or do we just leave it up and keep the material? Gonna do that. Right. You shouldn't waste that many XYZs before attacking. Yeah, but what can happen? I mean, I can attack first, yeah, sure, but like, is there any trap that is being played that would do anything here? Like, surely he's not gonna play Mirror Force or something, right? I'm just gonna leave up the tanky, I think. So I have one material on his turn, and then if it survives on my turn, because I have barrier. Um, he has something super chainable. Probably. Maybe he keeps barrier to negate. No, it makes no sense. No. To keep it for. His turn to stop my drowns, yeah. Maybe he wants, wants it in my next turn. Okay, slumber OTK. We're just leaving this up, I think. Mm. Compose and Torrential are played. Yeah, but like, Torrential is gonna hit my XYZs anyways, right? At some point, doesn't really matter. But compose could be a reason. I mean, you would still compose earlier, right? Uh, pass. Barrier right now also makes his guys win all the battles. He has a tanky up. Yeah, fair enough. What's the cyclone? That's pretty good right now. Maybe I should have said this. I'm still not used. I'm, I'm not used to this format being with Cosmic Cyclone again on MST. Like one card removal. I'm still used to Twin Twister. Uh, draw phase. No. I mean, even if if he has a Kaiju, it's still not worth popping this. I need it. Slumber. Man. Do I die? Do I die to Slumber Rat? Let me see. Uh, 
what if Norden stays? I, I, I don't know, this, I, this is my second game with the deck, but I think... Uh, I think this is gonna be pretty good with instant fusion. I think we die, right? Let me let's see how it goes. He, he I don't have to read it myself to see if he's just doing it. Whatever. Should have popped tanky. Why? Is it so? Is the one one hundred so important? You always die to slumber rat. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So let's see how it works. Now he goes Tigris or Wild Bow into Tigris, right? Because he has a rat, yeah. Wild Bow, Tigris, uh, detach and attach rat, detach rat again, summon another rat. Yeah, yeah. Well, you can do that multiple times when you have two rats as materials. You can like now he can summon two from that. It's broken. It's so broken. Basically, the standard rat combo, but you build samurai instead of emerald. Yeah, makes sense. So now you search another viper, or what? Probably yeah. Oh, you can pop your own Drancia then. Oh, that's bro. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I didn't know that. Wait. Uh, destroy as my dance person. So if Drancia is the only monster, and you pop itself, he doesn't get to summon. Okay. Yeah. Should have done that. I would have survived then, right? Or can you like rat on open board? Does it kill? Probably not, right? No. Okay. Yeah, that's game. Okay. How much is it? 30, 38, 71, 85, right? So this is 85, or he, yeah. Yeah, 85. And if you don't have tanky, it's 83. So it kills every time, okay. Red on its own is only 65, okay. Yeah, so we would have lived if we if we if I knew the slumber rule and he has maxi anyways, but whatever. Okay. Um yeah. We were being challenged. Yeah, let's just do it. Probably a watcher. If he's still there. Oh, we lost dice roll again. Fuck this. And we drew tech head on board. What do you have, Maxi? It's fine. Maxi, good player. Do you only want to play mirrors? I don't care. I really don't care. I just want to see how it works. I, I literally don't care what I'm playing against. Oh, Eidolon. Yeah, that's also cool. I, ha I have no idea what they do. You can send this card from your the graveyard and target with you. If this card is summon you an Elmer Island summoning magic from your deck to your hand, that's a pretty good card. Um, so I, I only know that Eidolons add some kind of fusion dynamic to this deck, that's all I know. Uh, it's probably artifact version right there. But we have Chalice for Scythe, so it's pretty broken. We oh, also have to worry. No, we don't have to worry about that. We have Slumber. Oh gosh. Oh, uh, and 
faith in this. Fuck my life. Oh no. I, I guess I can still run over this because I have chalice. Oh. Oh, but it still pops. Oh wow. <laughs> that wasn't good at all then. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. That was pretty bad. <laughs> Rip. Yeah, it destroys first and then you summon, so emptiness is changing to it resolves, then slumber destroys cards, and because emptiness was already resolved, it dies. That's pretty. Yeah. Ah, uh, we still. Ah, uh, we kind of lose to to that barrier, right? Do we? I don't know if the attack position was correct, I just assumed it would not, uh, whatever. Da -da. Oh gosh, these cards... Like, why are they always chainable? It makes me mad. So I think I'm gonna set all three. This is probably the idol on magic, right? But, um, just in case it's freaking... Cosmic Cyclone again. Maybe there's maybe there's a fucking fusion that pops all back rows, like but I don't know anything about it, so whatever. Should have waited for Invoker so he has a wind for the fusion. Why the Oh the fusion can the fusion use your monsters from grave? This card's broken. Okay. Well, yeah, yeah, you're right. Hold S. Okay. Well, it's just a vanilla. Oh, it shuffles itself back like Metal Force Fusion. It's pretty good. Now we can summon the guy again. Search it again. You only run one in that deck, probably, right? Okay. I shouldn't have chalice that, right? It didn't even ask me because I was holding S. <laughs> it told me to hold S. Mm. I think I'm gonna chalice this because. Like in damage step? Because like if if this survives this I mean this kills it, then this survives, then I can instant fusion back this and co invoker. So I'm probably gonna need it. Wait. Was I not 1600? Am I stupid? Why did I lose 1400 on that? I don't get it. What did he attack with this? I thought he attacked with this. Whatever. I'm confused. I drew red anyway. 
Well, I think I'm gonna keep my. Oh, it's ban. Why is it banished? Oh gosh, I didn't see it was banished. Why? Why is it banished? Oh, he banished it for the fusion. I'm so retarded. Okay. Yeah, no, I thought I thought he attacked with the small guy. <laughs> it's banished. No. Oh gosh, rip. Did we already send the fusion? Oh gosh, I can't check. I have to kite you? Why? Oh yeah. Oh fuck this. I don't know the cards. Yeah. Okay. Once per turn during the plus turn you could target yeah, that's pretty good card. <laughs> uh. We're getting there though. Still two months until Prague. It's enough time. No problem. And hey, we lost another dice roll. And we drew another Takeda board. Best player EU confirmed. Yeah, yeah. It's not even my final form. BA in 2017, lol. I mean, I suppose Beatrice is pretty good against this because it hits this. But we have Chalice, so. What did he hit? Doesn't even have Beatrice. In before overlay into Invoker. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why play Terra Top if you can just play double BA, right? No. I guess we lose to Karma Cut, right? I mean, we don't instantly lose, but it's pretty bad. Like Karma Cut or Wing Blast, because we can't instant fusion back in that case. Well, we'll see. Yes, please. These things wouldn't happen if you play 60 cards in front. Well, it also wouldn't happen if I knew how the deck works or the, what the cards do. So that's fine. He didn't search tour guide, right? So that probably means he has a discard trap, which is gonna hit us now. No? He has graph in hand. He, ha he has to have a discard trap. Why is he not using it? I guess he wants to hit XYZs, but yeah, he doesn't know I have instant fusion. Fair enough. Unless he's. I mean, he's watching, but maybe he turned it off. Wait, is it correct to summon Tigris first or do you detach the Molmoret to summon another Molmoret first? What's better order? And for what reason? What does it, it probably doesn't matter most of the time. Um wait, which effect did I activate? Wait, wait, wait.
I did it right, okay. <laughs> For a change, I did it right, but I think I detached the wrong one. Because I didn't know which effect I activated. I didn't want to detach the rat, and then... Yeah, whatever. Now I have to... Summon Bullhorn here. I did it right? Okay. Okay, now I can wait. No, wait. wait. Special summon Drancia here. Right? No. Oh, wait, I'm out of rats, right? Yeah. One, two, three. Yeah. Infusion now and emerald back some rats, probably. And I didn't search. Oh my gosh, so con so confusing, so confusing. Twin twister. Oh yes, scythe. No, why? Oh, graph into what? You were supposed to summon Bullhorn over Tigris. Okay. Oh, can I use the effect again in that case? Like, if the rat is still under there, can I do it again? Oh my gosh. Can I? Uh, graph. Probably Maxi. Yeah, oh fuck, I'm, I'm timing out. Yeah, that's, that's, that's rip. You can? Oh, that's so broken. Okay, yeah. I think we timed out. Rip. Ah, oh, Fire Lake. It makes sense. Okay. Yeah, you can because the Momorite's material to a different mod. So yeah, that's broken. Okay. I feel like this deck is very good, but I mean, you have to know it. It's like, it's, it's, it's hard. Playing it for the first time. Especially in this fucking death pro time. Shit. So we can't Drancia this turn anymore, because reasons, and now we're timed out, so we're probably still losing. If he has Traveler with that, I... We didn't even set Chalice because of time, but whatever. Should've changed Drancia to pop the rat that was summoned by Norden, now it's banished. Wait, well, we would have been banished either way, right? Because if if Drancia pops it, oh no, it's it's only banished when Norden leaves the field. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Tour guide. Should I go still get that? Probably. No. I mean, yeah, right. What else do I? What else do I go Stoger? Because he has a face down, so he can't summon any other BAs. Yeah, I guess I go I don't 
don't know. I don't, I just don't. It, I don't think it's good, but it it's like there's nothing else to ghost dagger. Maybe I should have read the cards at least once before. Maybe once. I don't know list on F FB. Thank you, man. I'm gonna check it out real quick. Okay, what's the Thrasher for? For, I guess, light fusion material? It's the only thing that makes sense. Okay. Um, when does Eidolon come out? Is it relevant for Prague? I think so, right? Yeah, the Beatrice is there. Far, far not used. Okay. But we survive. Uh, no. That's the, the trap, right? Out February 26th, so yeah, okay, it's gonna matter for Prague. So we have Chalice for Beatrice, so we might still be fine if there's no more barrier. Oh, come on, don't annoy me. Um, so do I already use this to shuffle back all the XYZs, or do I wait a little? Oh, I don't have any more rats, so I have to. Uh, uh, so, wait. Uh, with different names, so I can only return one. Okay. I was gonna return two rats, but that's fine. Unless I draw it. Yeah, we're gonna read the Eidolon cards after this. Hey, Cyclone is pretty good. I prefer it being a Twin Twister, but it's still pretty good. Do we just do it? I mean... No, right? I mean, what could it be? It could be a Dimensional Barrier, which we don't want to use it on. It could be a Dead Fire Lake. Um, So, there's no reason to do it, I think. Maybe just Tanky... EV lets us resolve it. The question is, do I go for Viper? Probably not. I mean, I could go for Viper, so I can, and then I can use this to pop this. I guess I don't want to have a Molmorite actually, because I want to summon it from deck. So yeah, I'm not. Like, I'm not even gonna search it. Yeah, because I'm gonna go Tigris, attach one from grave and then summon the one from deck right that's how it's gonna work um this can also summon yeah uh if this card is destroyed by card effects then you can tap one using uh, this card okay it's not doing problem I'm just gonna chalice. I don't know what he's gonna send. Oh, the one that bounces. Can Kalkap also bounce face ups? I don't think so. Never. Maybe he has a twin twister, and that's why he's doing this, but that will be okay because we have another one. Oh, he can. Uh, Whatever. No, it's not even that bad. Probably Twin Twister here, right? Makes sense. Yeah. Um, I should Cosmic Cyclone just to know what, what is gone. 
Because at this point, he could... Yeah. Yeah. The Twin Twister was easy to read, though, so maybe I should have attempted the Cosmic Cyclone before, but yeah, it's a Fire Lake, so... And that would have been live now, so that's fine. Now we can play. And we don't need to resolve the spell, so that's okay, because... We can st we still normal summon, but we normal summon this, right? Or Viper? Wait, if this cards after damage calculation banish that monster, that's pretty good against this deck. So we normal this uh, effect. Uh, draw one card. No, I want it in hand, right? Yeah, I want it in hand for sure. Uh, Wild Bow. Wait, was Wild Bow correct? I don't know. Maybe I didn't need it yet. Uh, now Tigress here. Uh, yeah. Activate, detach. Wild Bow. Here. Wrap. Activate uh, this. So now I summon Ballhorn to search another Viper, right? And then Drowns, yeah. No, we timed out again. Fuck this. Okay, but we would have won this, I think. What happened? Oh. So you play three of that, uh, two of the fusion spell, I suppose, because it could get cosmic cyclone. Is that the reason? What does that do? When this card is activated, oh okay. If you activate the card, it's fusion. It's a pretty good card. Pretty good card. Uh, you play, don't play that, you don't play that, and he plays, he doesn't play this, he plays this, 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 and this, okay, uh, that's it for the Eidolon card, I think. Let's see. Um, so this is the Book of Moon. It's pretty good. Cannot be targeted. This card can attack while I face up defense position. It does apply its attack. Okay. Okay. This card can't do an attack for each card your opponent controls. Okay. That's pretty good. Pretty good. So this one's the best, right? No, that was pretty good. Okay. Yeah. Okay. What I like about this is is that it has well, wait. Hmm. But why does it go together with Zodiac so well? Because you like in this build you don't have your normal summon because it doesn't have it doesn't have what am I saying? It doesn't have 
Terra Top or anything. So the only way to get Zodiac combos going is Molorat, right? Normal summon. So what's the what's better? Do you go for like Fusions turn one or do you go for Zodiac's turn one? Assuming you don't draw this. And this is actually only the only Zodiac you play right now. Okay. Yeah, you are in this weak versus deep area. I see that. I see that. Yeah, it makes sense. You can use Thrasher and Alistair to do what? Yeah, you have to spell. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You have this, but if you don't draw this, what do you do? The other way is fuse with rat and attach rat from grave with tigress. Okay. Okay, that's I guess I guess that's why you play the earth vanilla. Okay, makes sense. Thrasher. Okay, what does Thrasher do then? What do you do with Trash? You rank 4 into one of the... Which one of the, of the Unishishis can you do? Uh, two materials is... This guy, you go into Bullhorn. You can search Rat and then you have it in your hand. Uh, and then what? You go for Bullhorn with Trash, you search Rat, yeah. Yeah, okay. And then you have Rat in hand. Then you fuse with it, oh, okay. And, uh, you fuse with it and then you put Tigress over Bullhorn. Okay, okay, yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Oh, you can go Bullhorn again, right? Because you summoned it the normal way. That makes sense. Oh yeah, Duncan sent it to me. Thanks, Duncan. Okay. Alright, we're gonna try this. Oh, there's Vipers in there? Yeah, I didn't see the Vipers. Okay. Vipers... Viper's pretty good. The other one, I don't get why the other one was in this other, the other list. But Viper's definitely good. Uh, it has artifacts. We're gonna just play them. I don't know how good they are, but whatever. They're light, I guess, for the light fusion, so that's good. Mm. Maxis. It has twin twisters. Whatever. I'm just gonna copy the list for now. I don't know the cards well enough to do my own. Uh, it's all the monsters. Two barriers. Torrential. Compose. That's too many traps for my liking, but we're gonna play it. Emptiness. Fuck this. Book of Moon. I kind of like Chalice. It's not in here, but kind of like it. Turn on. Turn on without spell or rat. Trash plus Alistair makes Bullhorn. Yep, yep. Uh, going second, make Earth Fusion discard rat into Tigress rat combo, ending in Samurai. Okay. 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 <sighs> Extra deck. Only one wild bow, fair enough. Only one emerald. I guess you don't need to emerald that often if you know how not to waste your resources, which I don't. 
Okay. Ghost Ogre is very good, it's a light at worst. Yeah, very possible. <laughs> okay, now Leo can play, okay. I'm just gonna host them. Alright, come at me, password CCG. Just play three barrier and cut the artifacts. Yeah, it's it's all possible. You we don't we're not trying to find the best list right now. I'm just trying to understand what's coming. Like that's always the first step. You don't you don't start learning a deck and immediately try to build the the best deck. You know, like I have I have no idea like how these decks work in detail. So I just need to understand first, and then I can then I can see what's good and what's not. Also, um, when does Lawn Mowing come out? Is it next set? Is it like is Inferno viable for Prague? I also don't know that. Like, is it, I, I don't know where everything is coming out. I know Zodiacs are in the next set, and Eidolons have like a special set at the end of February. That's all I know. I don't know where where Lawn Mowing is being re released. Do you plan on streaming regularly again? Yes, we're gonna stream regularly again now, starting with 2017, because we're also gonna get Twitch partnership and everything. So, yeah, and also Marcelo is gonna stream, Eugen is gonna stream, and Rafael is gonna stream as well, and then we're gonna do some, we're gonna do some, like, discussions and whatnot, like, with, with some other people of the, of the team, so, yeah. Um... So this hand is like almost a dream, right? Uh, except for that we lost another dice roll. Oh, is that is that Necros? Is my boy trying to bring back Necros? I think so. But going first, this would be the dream, right? And here you would probably go for the you would go for this, right? You'd go for this, and then you would fuse the rat away, would you? Or would you not? I mean, you would go for Thrasher first, obviously, but... Okay. Oh, man. I miss Shuriit so much. If he goes Christian, we have book, so it's fine. He didn't have. Um, he didn't have. What's it? What's the guy called? Um, Benton. He didn't have Benton, so probably no way to search Christian. Unless he just drew into it and can like cycle Brynek. But... Oh, Gigabyte, nice. Okay, yeah, so he's gonna have a Toad. This is the dream? Okay, well, we don't need this, right? Because we have the terraforming to search it, so it's not the dream, but. This is the dream for him, man. He has the dream. He's living the dream. Mm. You can 
press F5 to see your opponent's graveyard. Wow, it's broken. Okay. Um. So. I guess we wait until he uses the first toad and then we book the second to force it and then we try to win somehow. Like we only have to do a thousand, right? What we can also try is force both toads and then book something and run over it with this it loses to Valkyrus though I didn't pay attention if he was able to search one but it's only the fire I don't think we can summon the fire in this matchup uh, I'm just gonna scope because if I if I don't hurry we're gonna time out anyway so I'm just going to to start playing and do some stuff Let's see if he allows me to do this he does okay so no, don't change. Uh, if you're somewhere... So the water one was the one that couldn't attack in defense, right? Cannot be targeted. Is there any point to making it yet? No, right? So we summon Bullhorn. But if we get countered, we kind of lose. No, we have this. We don't lose. Yeah. Oh, we know he has Valkyrus, okay. Yeah, because he tributed the thing, yeah, yeah, okay. We have Book, though. We could, we could. We search Viper, we don't need Rat, we have Rat. Magic. Wait with spell. Which spell? <laughs> I have a couple. I think we win though. Yeah. Yeah. Just because I can kill his board, right? With Drantia. Yeah. The timer is gonna fuck me, but that's okay, whatever. It, it doesn't matter. We don't have to win like desperately. I think we pop the this one. No. Feels, but would have prevented Toad from negating. Oh yeah. Okay. But it's whatever. We can still go for this, right? I mean, I think uh, I don't know. I don't. I think I, th I don't think we win, but I guess I don't think that matters too much. Um.
It's a shame we don't have um, any other rank fours like toolboxes because he has Valk in hand. We kind of need it, like Castell or something. I don't know how if he's running triple toe. Like we have to pop some. You have to get rid of some of his stuff. We can attach Viper to this. Um, uh, oh fuck! I timed out. Uh, that's a shame because this this duel could have been good. Like the game could have been good. Can I somehow like because I'm playing casual mode? Can I play without timer? Is there a setting for this? Is that like can I not go without time limit? Is two minutes the highest I can do? I mean, we lose, right? Yeah. Yeah, I got 3 0 by timer. No, that was sucks to learn combos, like, really. Yeah, I mean, we lose because you can negate my drones, yeah. Um, is is that? Can I not play without timer? Is that? Are they serious? Oh, there you go. There's no way to increase the timer, that's a joke, man. Where's the end? Uh, where is the end? So this prevents toad, cannot be negated, yeah, okay, yeah, I should have done that first, obviously, well, he negated it anyways, well, yeah, mm. try dueling that nexus, yeah, I don't have any, I don't have it, I don't know, whatever. Was the timer on one minute or two minutes? It's just really hard to like talk with chat, read cards, understand combos and play at the same time. Like, it's actually ridiculous. Cause like a deck like Zodiac, like two minutes is never gonna work for it. Not in real life, you're gonna take way more than two minutes for a turn. Oh, this sounds pretty good. But we lost, like, we have, what is this deck? The Mice Cosmo Nice 20, 2016 right there. Not even good deck out of 2015, 16. Um, this sounds pretty good. But yeah, th two minutes is just like, huh? I mean, Zodiac combo turns in real life are gonna take way more than two minutes, so it's not even realistic. Mm. It's pretty good, right? I mean, this, <laughs> this hand is pretty good. Yes, I wish. I think Chalice is insane from like just from my first uh, impression of the format. Chalice is pretty damn good. Is this poker? No, it's not. <laughs> I mean, 
to be fair that we have the same combo next turn again, so I don't really care right now. Don't think there's a point in using this, so I'm just passing. He's the mice, so he's slow. Bad deck is bad. Oasis is pretty good though, but we have the Sanctum, so... I think we pop the Scythe because he can rank 5 and bounce this back to his hand. I don't want that to happen with play 80s. Uh, we can't bounce this because it will trigger and get Tin Can, so... This is it. It is. Could have popped a back row, but... Not worth. Uh, we can duel after this if you want and keep it right there. Okay, so he doesn't have a follow-up play, which is nice. Pop the slip, Kappa, yeah. Can you play a TCG deck? Also, what do you hope the new cooler with belonging is? Uh, oh, you drew Tinken. Um... Well, this is basically going to be a TCG deck very soon. I don't think there's a point in playing like more frogs and whatnot. Because like, the format before Zodiacs comes out is just like, frog is 100% the best deck and... The list is also super standard now, so there's not much to play test anymore. Like, yeah, I mean, the format is like, solved. Hey, you didn't get Dark Destroyer. Got Eclipser, okay. Uh, I'm just gonna play into his back row and see what I can do. Did you draw artifacts in Paleo? Yes, I did. I didn't like it. I don't think you need it. It's like way too defensive, way too slow because the deck's actually not defensive at all. So. I mean, 29 traps. Yeah, but. Only like nine of them were actual traps, no less, less than that, like seven or eight. The rest were like Paleozoics, Vaboku, Reckless and that kind of stuff. There was nothing like degenerate going on with traps. Um, so I don't think we rank four here. I think we just overlay over the Molmoret. Am I right? Or is that wrong? I'm pretty sure we do that first. Like... <laughs> but with what do we start then? Wild Bow? Okay. So which idol on beast is good here? Don't remember the effects. I gotta reread them. Okay. Um. Okay. We can make. We can't make. We can make him, but it's not too good right now. Can make him. Not him. Not him. I guess all we can do is Merkaba, but is it good? I mean, it, it gets. We can get over. We can. Uh, I guess we make it. Yeah. He has to tag out now, I think, because we. The plan is to summon Merkaba and attack, and then negate. The tin can when it tags out, or the destroyer when we run over it. 
Uh, we're just gonna use the slip rider. What is that that I can activate? Oh yeah, this thing. Get this back to our house. We don't have normal anymore, but that's fine. Oh, I can... Oh! That's pretty good. I can bump this up so you can't run over it next turn. It's pretty strong. But yeah, we're gonna attack the tin can. And then we have two options. We can either attack it and like if he tags out, we negate. Or we run over destroyer and negate it. That's also possible. Okay, so he let it die because he didn't want us to get the replay on the destroyer. It's fair. Ah. The good thing about that is that the Eclipser won't be coming out, so he can't negate the Sanctum. And Sanctum doesn't target, so we can just... Moral, uh, moral Attack doesn't target, so we can just pop destroy. It's fine. Yeah, Merkaba is really good. I mean, it's not super broken, I think, because it's basically like that one counter trap, uh, the Providence, and that wasn't that broken. It was okay, not that broken. So you can't run over it because we have this guy. That's pretty good, actually. Like a little side effect. So he's gonna attack, we, we, we pitch this, destroy it, he activates it, we negate it, that's fine. But then we're kinda out of stuff, right? I think we have to keep this in hand, I think we go Sanctum, Moral Attack, pop it. Yeah. You mean this guy? You can discard it for a thousand attack. On, on a fusion, like it's kind of a little honest. He attacks the Thrasher. I'm gonna use Sanctum. Because if I don't, he kills the Thrasher, then I Sanctum anyways. And he runs over. So, moral attack. Negate it. It's cool that if you draw multiple thrashers, it doesn't matter in this deck. That's a little bonus. Because you can pitch them for this thing. It was the same in ABC. If you had thrasher and you went for ABC dragon and you had more thrashers, it didn't matter. Yeah. So the thrasher is going to die, but that doesn't really matter. We still have the normal summon to search next turn, and then we can fuse again, or we can keep it in hand if we want to negate this thing. Okay, so this game so far is going well because we didn't have to do any <laughs> big zodiac combos, so there was not that much to mess up. I mean, Eidolons are pretty straightforward. Alice is a pretty good card, yeah. Mm, the draw was kind of unnecessary at this point. It's still good because we... Um, should I keep it in hand so I can negate spells? I think so. I think that's worth. Because he might draw into Dark Hole or Gekki or anything like that. 
think that's good. Next format, Maxi always main deck. From what I've seen so far, yes. Just because it's way too good against Zodiac combos. So he strikes it. He has to do that. Um, and now I'm going to use the, the circle. Because I want a monster in my hand. I want a monster in my hand so I can... Oh, no. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, that's correct. Yeah. No problem. Yeah. If that th back row is nothing, we win. Because we attack, we negate, and then we attack again. If it's called, though, it could be a problem. He doesn't have to destroy it, though. Yeah, yeah, monster negate is better, but if um, if he didn't negate this with strike, we would have gone for fusion, then we would have activated fusion, banished Alistair from grave, and then we would have taken it back, so we would have had, we would have had a monster anyways. So we would have had both in that case. I think that would, would have been better. But now that he negated the Alistair, we played it because having one monster is better than having one spell. But I think one spell and one monster would have been better than two monsters. I hope he doesn't have strike. And now I hope we win. No, he has call, okay. We don't. Forerunner is coming out. Oh, we can't do anything about it. No, we don't want to continue. But he has Eclipser, so we're not in that big of trouble, right? He runs over this, and then we have some time to get back into it. We only need one rat or something. Right? Yeah, that's okay. Have you seen Wind Witches? No, that's another thing. Uh... I have to try out still. Maybe we're gonna do that after. Yeah, after this game, why not? Let's read Wind Witches. Anyone has a Wind Witch list? So I can see what, what's being played. Draws Demise. That'd be the third one. That'd be pretty bad. But yeah. I mean, it would only draw two because he has this, so it's not that bad even. Terraforming. It's not bad, right? We have another. Do we have another? No, we don't. Fuck, that's that's the worst draw then. Oh, do we activate it or do we keep the information hidden? I think we set it. Um, I don't want to. I don't want him to know that we drew a brick. So. How do I send a list? You can whisper it to CCG on Twitch or you can send it to me on Facebook, to my personal account. Nah, no, we're breaking. And he's gaining all the life back, fuck. Okay, I got a Wind Witch list, we're gonna try that afterwards. Cause like, I know that all of this is viable, I don't know what's the best, so don't ask me, but like, some of it. That's a good draw, right? Yeah. Not the best, but it's okay. No, it's pretty good actually, no, it's really good. If it resolves, if it doesn't, it sucks. Because we kind of have to banish this. Like, if he has emptiness, it's a, uh, emptiness or warning. <laughs> no. uh, I don't think we summon this, right? Because it doesn't get over four runner. I think we summon this. The question is, do we summon in attack or defense? I can use it twice, right? 
Ja. Mhm. Just summoning an attack. I don't want to attack over it when I can't like negate the effect because it's gonna get tin can. Well, I'm still gonna summon an attack. Now I activate this. Put this back into my deck. Uh, do I even normal it this turn? Probably, but it takes me. It, it lets me take unnecessary damage. Also, because I summoned this in attack, it lets him crash and get farm girl over this. So probably not doing this. It's a shame that he has so much life again. When like, he was at like eighteen hundred, right? Yeah. Um. Yeah. Yeah, I should have summoned it in defense. But the draw was still pretty good. I mean, what can I do? I can normally get the second fusion, like fusion again, and then this, but I don't have anything to negate. So there's no point, right? Yeah, I should have just put it in defense. I hope it won't matter. But he can crash and get tin can, so it probably is gonna matter. If he has mojo, we lose anyway, so. That doesn't matter at all. Because if he has Mojo, he just activates Mojo, banishes this, and goes for Farm Girl. We just die. There's, like, there's no, we can't do anything against it. Could have said it against Farm Girl, but that's like he just attacks first in that case. So. Honest? No, you don't run honest in demise, right? He's crashing. Yeah, I should have just summoned it in defense. I don't know what I was thinking. I did. I just. I guess I didn't know where my turn was going, but it wasn't that hard. But yeah. It sucks because Barrier is so bad against Cosmo. But I mean, against any other deck, any good deck, we would have lost by now because we breaked in the middle of the game. But yeah. But who thought it would be a good idea to make a fusion spell that can use opponent's monsters from grave to summon something that can basically negate anything? Opinion on the TCG exclusives? I have not uh, no idea what they're doing. Like I've I haven't touched Yu-Gi-Oh since Bochum and Amsterdam, so I don't know. The, unnecess the most unnecessary draw ever because we could have just searched it but I mean the straw man in attack won't matter he has the the guy with 3k in hand I think we, we go into stall mode right uh, I guess we attack well we have to force the straw man somehow because otherwise he can just trigger again we don't want that we have to yeah. uh, I guess I guess now we have a monster in hand to negate. Yeah. Barrier is pretty good. Oh, you can't see his life. Oh, damn. Yeah, you're right. He's at 51. Let me adjust that. Um, 
Oh, that didn't help. There's no room because of the webcam. I'm gonna fix it for next stream. Mm, yeah, we, we have to force. The problem is, if I attack, I can't put it to defense anymore. So we're gonna force it with this. Oh, we, yeah. I was thinking about turning this to defense because of potential mirror forces, but I don't want to do that because I might want to continue the battle. Like, I might want to run over something at this, but well, probably not, but. Like, yeah. Nope. Okay, we had to force this with something other than that because this is the only thing keeping us alive right now. Are you gonna try out the new magicians? Which new magicians? If you mean wind witches? Oh, do you mean the pendulums? Uh, I don't think they're like relevant for Prague, so probably not right now, but yeah. Yeah, I mean, Infinity cannot get him. I mean he can probably play ADs me, well yeah. I mean we lost but it's okay. Yeah we're gonna try the magicians but probably after prog. Yeah there's gonna be regular streams anyways this year so it's fine. Volcosaurus yeah we lose okay. mm -hmm. Alright, let's read Wind Witches. Wind Witches. Should be here for next season. Yeah, then we're gonna we're gonna try it then. <laughs> Wrecked, yeah. Wind Witch. So this is Wind Witch. Also Eidolon, okay. Um Wind, wind, which, okay. So the list that he gave me, let me see. Yes, three of this, three of this, of this. And that's it. Is this in there? No. Winter Bell is in there. And that's it. Okay. There's artifacts in there. I hate it already that everyone's playing artifacts. Artifacts are so degenerate. Like that's never a good sign of a format when when they're good. Let's see. It's also not a good sign that Dark Hole and Regeki are viable. Because mm, Regeki and Dark Hole are usually only good when people play degenerate monsters and overcommit a lot. Or are forced to overcommit a lot, and that's weird. Uh, oh, he plays this as well, okay. What does the dark one do? It's pretty broken. Why was why was it not in the other list? I guess there's not many darks running around next four levels, so yeah, okay. Uh two spells. Wonder wand, okay. Haven't seen that card in a while. Of course. Triple barrier. Wow. 
one call on emptiness. I'm not sure if you want six copies of this card because I mean I guess it's too good to not play but I don't know it's weird and compose okay okay if this card is normal summon or special summon you can add one mutual attack to your hand you can only summon wind monsters okay not too bad not too good uh, you can special summon this card from your hand oh that's broken That's broken. So you control the monsters. It's basically terror top on crack. This is a tuner. Winter ball. You can target one and make nothing crazy out. Okay. So you special this, special this, search this, special it, which gives you level 8, which he plays Stardust for that, okay. There's a crystal wing. Oh, he's playing three of this guy, okay. Makes sense, yeah, it's a wing deck, okay. And one more that I don't know. Great. What's the pendulum synchro in this deck? Uh, you only need two glass balls. Yeah, that makes sense. We're gonna do that. Oh no, not this one. Ghost ogres, all right. Clear wing. What? Fast dragon. Yeah, that's the one he's playing. When is it coming out? Is it uh, legal for Prague? You can't use fast dragon, okay. Then we're not gonna use it. I'm gonna just use clearing. Okay, so what's the basic combo? I mean it can't just be summon this, summon this, summon this, make stardust pass. That can't be the best, right? It can't be. I mean in addition to it, if you have him, you have stardust him and him in the end, right? That's pretty good. So, is that is that all you do? And how do you make that? Is this five? Okay, fair enough. You make crystal wing, not stardust. Wait, level four, three, one. Oh yeah, you go cr you go clear wing into crystal wing. Yeah, okay, yeah. It's just me being dumb again. Um, okay, we're gonna try this and then we're gonna call it a day for the day, I think. We've been on for over two hours, but yeah. So I'm gonna host, we're gonna do like two games or something. But yeah, I mean it's still very confusing. Like the whole Zodiac thing. It, it, it takes some time to get an overview over the format, but it doesn't seem too too bad of a format it doesn't seem super good yet but we'll see we'll see how it goes 
Summon two Radiant, book two monsters, then destroy them with the Zen Mario. Yeah, that makes sense. Definitely makes sense. If you open Ice Bell plus Alistair plus Field plus a second fusion spell, you can make Crystal Wing and two Radiant, yeah. Radiant's pretty good. Like Book of Moon on, on legs is pretty strong. Just look at Fairy Tail. It's like it's pretty disruptive. It's very good. Oh, I didn't save it. Wait. Ah. Challenge me again. I had to save the deck. I had to save the deck. What's your opinion on Inferno's next format? Um, with lawn mowing, it becomes good. I don't know if it's. I don't think it's gonna be the best deck just because 60 cards is not gonna be consistent enough and like <laughs> maybe maybe it's good this hand would have been not too great right Zodiacs, let's see. I'm still interested in seeing Zodiac combos. It's probably gonna be like the most annoying thing by the end of next format. Or like in the middle of next format when everyone knows the combos. That you still have to watch it every time. It's like Monarchs. Monarchs was super annoying because it took so long. Like Idea, summon Idos, announce effect, tribute for Monarch, act like activate all the like return and everything before think about which cards to send, summon, shuffle, activate pantheism from grave, think about which three to show, shuffle, so annoying. It's gonna be the same with zodiacs at some point, because everyone knows what's happening but just takes ages. Do you think we will get an emergency balance because of zodiacs? It could be, it, like it happened with uh, pendulum stuff, right? So, and pendulum stuff was—I don't think it was as dominant as ODX are. So, we'll see. We're gonna make a bandless discussion stream, I think, this week as well, because we should get—we should get a new one relatively soon, anyways, regardless of emergency bandless or not. So. the emerald because he couldn't so did he mess up at some point is that why I don't know we have dark hole though it's pretty good right now Rip. see even the people that know more about the deck do mistakes with zodiac still so that happened I mean that was huge he, he didn't get the search and he didn't get uh, to activate emerald he messed up the combo, yeah, yeah. We're gonna, I'm gonna keep the Twin Twister because I can potentially pop my own Moral Talk with it. That could be good. Does he have a light for me to summon? Uh, I'd really like to summon the other guy. Do we even go for a fusion here? Because when we use it from the field, we don't banish it, right? So we can't add it back. I don't think we fusion, do we? Oh, I can make Raideen, that's right. Yeah, that's good. How much attack is Raideen? Um... 
Should I attack first or should I make Radine? Probably make Radine, right? Yeah. Oh, he gets banished. Okay. So we can add it back there. That was that was pretty much perfect. Okay. I think we use the terraforming here for deck thinning because we're gonna end up discarding that card anyways. I think like we're gonna get we're gonna set uh, these three like this, this, and this. Okay, this deck seems way easier because it doesn't have zodiacs in it. <laughs> So we can book, we can twin twister, we can moral attack, we can sanctum scythe. So I think we should win this. I mean, okay, that was unfortunate, but that's okay. At least he didn't have hit Twin Twister plus Sanctum. <sighs> Viper, should I book that? Yeah, I. Yeah. And if he has to spell summon something else, we just twin twister it, so that's fine. End of main phase. Yeah, okay. No, another card. Come on, ignore chain, fuck this. Oh, ice bell. Okay, I control monsters, so that's a completely break card that I drew. But it's fine. Right. It makes it lets me make another let me make another idol on beast radine so it's fine i don't think i have to do it though like do i need a second one i can make uh because the moral tax in grave now oh yeah that, that makes sense yeah Pop. i'm going to make Merkaba. No, this channel is not going to be for Hearthstone anymore. Our Hearthstone streamers and CCG have their own channels. So we can negate two monsters in a spell now. Pretty broken. Yeah. Shouldn't be able to get out of this. Because not, not even Dark Hole saves him or Slumber. I guess a kaiju and then something else could come to me, but... When is the next stream? It's probably gonna be tomorrow or on Wednesday, I don't know for sure. Uh, we're gonna have regular schedules in the future, but for now, uh, that's that. Like, when I asked, I think Eugen... Eugen is gonna do one this week, Marcelo is gonna do one, Raf is gonna do one, and then we're gonna have one more ban list discussion with multiple people. Okay, so we finally win a game. <laughs> mm. Yeah, I understand it. What, what, what do you use Wonder Wand for though? It seems like your standard combo doesn't leave you with a wind monster on the board. 
Or like in which situation is it good? I guess it's good with this guy especially, not with the Wind Witches. Because you'd want him in Grave, right? Because, like, in this deck you're not rank 4 focused at all, so you'd want to banish it. Yeah, 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 you, you, yeah, okay. Draw 2 for free, basically. So do you ever, like, in any combo use it on Wind Witches, actually, or... Well, yeah, it seems good. Yeah, of course, when you don't, if you don't rank 4 with Alistair, uh... Doesn't matter. Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna do one more. One more with this, and then that's. If you get max seed, yeah. Okay. The level three that requires you to have to play a uh, the hesp okay, yeah but um, okay, the fusions are all non spell casters though so you can't like clear a fusion off your board to enable ice spell. If you don't open with the Terra Top guy, you can search it with Stratos and then draw two. Oh yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's actually good. Yeah. If you draw left over wind, which is later, yeah, yeah, it makes sense. Oh, we won our first. And now we, this is exactly what we do here, right? We normal this. Okay, yeah. I spell out of our six field spells and the uh, Alaster, we didn't get anything. That's fine. On this, activate, draw two. Now we have it, but it's too late. We can still fuse though. So now activate. Mm. Oop. Oop. I cannot use it again though, so I can't synchro. Right? So is it better to get this then? No, right? Still not. Why do I get another ice spell? Totem bird is good in this case, right? Or is there any... You can synchro 7? How? Oh, this is a tuner. Okay, I didn't know that. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this is 500 damage, right? Yeah, broken. Uh, inflict damage, then target. Okay, no, that's not good. Yeah. Clear wing. Yeah, you could make totem bird, right? But you don't have to. I think we still make the the, the fusion. You can summon totem bird. Oh, level 5 or higher, okay. I thought only just wind monsters. Mm. I don't know if he fused into it. We have barrier plus. Uh, because if we fuse from hand, it's not gonna get banished, right? Yeah, I, I want it to get banished. Because if I do that, it's gone. Yeah. We're just gonna hope that barrier clearing max is enough.
Yeah, yeah. Missed crystal wing. How can I make crystal wing? I used. Uh... Oh, what's that? Mm -hmm. uh, I used my normal summon on. Because I had to start with, I don't know the name of the level 4 Wind Witch, I had to start with it and wander wand it away before I had the other guy. So is this Zephra Yang Zing? Oh gosh. We have Maxi bro. I hate playing against this deck, but I don't know do we call Pendulum here. I think we call Pendulum, right? I mean, we definitely don't call Synchro with the clearing right now, so... Oh no, not XYZ, Pendulum. Why is there no crystal wing on the field? I had to start. Uh, I opened glass band, glass bell. That's the name. Glass bell, wonder wand, activate effect, search ice bell, and then tribute with wonder wand. So I couldn't use glass bell again to summon the one level one tuner. Okay, so Barry was broken. Oh, the Max is so annoying. For once, I didn't screw up right now. For once, I, I didn't. I think. Uh, is there any reason to fuse before attacking here? I don't think the damage matters. I think I'm just gonna attack, take the damage, and then summon the thing in defense. Cool. I don't think there's any more I can do. This deck seems pretty straightforward. He's strong though. Like the disruption factor is pretty strong. Especially like the Book of Moon thing is like especially strong considering Zodiacs rely so much. Oh, what happened? Oh, okay. I don't think this matters because you can just pendulum it back, so that's fine. Yeah, that's true actually. What we can do here is we can we can activate the second chain Alistair so it gets put to graveyard. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty good. We have two now. It doesn't help against Darkhold though, so maybe you just not do it, but whatever. It's not that greedy to make two because we still shuffle this back, get it back, so it's kind of like free. Okay. Mm, do we need to ride Geki? This pendulum is just gonna come back. I don't think it matters. I don't think it matters. Oh yeah, it's main phase two. No 
tuner, level 4 and level 3. Um, I don't know, I don't, wait. Yeah, it's okay. So this is scale 7, this is scale 2, so we're just gonna drop Maxi here. Is this deck viable or is he playing a fun deck? Because I literally, I don't know the next format, like it could be, I don't know. Is it good in Japan or something? So these pop face up cards, but I I can negate one of them. Can I? Oh, it targets two. Oh fuck's sake! Does it have to just? No, it doesn't have to stay face up, okay. He can negate. But only if he co controls uh, Yang Zing, right? So I can book it. Okay, so I don't know if this counts as activation for pillars, I don't know the effect right now. Whatever, we're just gonna see, I don't know. But like, ugh. Death Pro is so annoying. I'm just gonna throw this down. No, he can, okay, he has to control the Yang Zing card. But he had to destroy his scale instead of this, so it was still worth booking. I think. So do we make Zen Mayo here? Deck, but like not in the grave, that's so annoying. I guess I don't think we Zen Mayo, but this is so annoying. You can, like, ah, we don't have an out for it, but we drew barrier. I guess all we have to do is make more of this, like, just make a third. <laughs> Okay, this is not even available in Prague, everything? Okay. This thing's pretty good. It's probably not out yet, right? It would have been played. Mm, no, we don't want this. We could just make this. We don't need 
triple. We don't want to waste the third one. Uh, so yeah, let's make this. Also, does more damage. I don't want to kill this. Uh, he, got, he has one already, but okay. Ooh. Wow. Does it really ask me after the switch of a fucking card whether I want to? Oh my gosh. Like, I'm just gonna run over as much as I can and then call Pendulum on this, so. No thanks. Most damage here. Could then Mayo kill both, but I don't think it's worth. Like the set, this thing doesn't do anything against the barrier. I guess if this is MST, it matters, but it's not. It was unlikely to be. Oh wait, I have to. I have to. Oh, not yet. I have to flip barrier after. He searches his other scale. Flip summon success. Oh, this could be pillars. Yeah, I have to activate this. Yeah, it's pillars. He could have negated barrier. That would have been a problem, but now he can't anymore. So that's fine. Why? What does it do if it... Oh, why can't I fucking... <sighs> I just want to read the card, but I can't, even if I hover over it. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, when it's destroyed, you can search, it's fine. That's a low scale, so here's a 7. Okay. I'm just gonna call Pendulum and Barrier and he's gonna scoop, that's what's gonna happen in the end. Yeah, like the, the real opponent this stream is fucking death, bro, it's so annoying. Like, why is it like, like that? Come on, man. Okay, we just compose, right? Yeah. Ooh. We win. Okay. Yep. Okay. Um. We're gonna do the rest next stream. No, don't worry, guys. There's gonna be more. There's gonna be more. Um. I'm gonna take some time next couple of days to learn the rest of the cards or learn the zodiac combos a little bit better and then we're gonna try and make good lists actually instead of just learning how the deck works um but yeah stay tuned for more streams because there's gonna be more um thanks everyone for watching and we're gonna announce on facebook when the other guys are gonna go live this week. I'm also gonna go live again with like a boundless discussion or something. But yeah, we're gonna have Marcelo and Raphael in the house and also Eugen is gonna stream. So yeah, that's it for today and uh, see ya.